Hey guys, how you doing? Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel tonight. Well, the summer is officially over here in Las Vegas, even though we're still having temperatures in the 90s, but we're in what we consider our fall weather, and it's going to start to cool off rather quickly. So tonight I thought I would make a nice cool dish instead of making a nice hot dish. Well, a couple of weeks ago I made a cottage cheese salad recipe, and I got a lot of great comments about it. One guy, the bald chef, even made a nice comment saying that I took something that was retro and breathed new life into it. The cottage cheese is a great food. So tonight, I'm going to make another cottage cheese salad recipe. Except tonight, I'm going to influence this cottage cheese recipe, this cottage cheese salad recipe, with the flavors of the great Southwest. I used to live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I know something about Southwest flavors. So tonight I'm going to make another cottage cheese salad recipe. Tonight I'm going to make a Southwestern inspired cottage cheese salad recipe. I know you'll love it. Stay tuned as usual with YouTube. 15 minutes. Let's get going and I'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, so here we go. We're going to make Southwestern inspired cottage cheese salad. The first thing we're going to add to the salad is roasted corn kernels. This is two cobs of corn that I cut the kernels off of and I roasted in a 10 inch grilling skillet, a cast iron one, with a little bit of oil, corn oil, and then I put it in this bowl and I added some salt, some black pepper, and some freshly ground Mexico Guajillo chili peppers, freshly ground the kind that I use in my Nam Prick Pad recipe. I also added some Mexican oregano. This is the way that some of these Southwestern flavors are going to get imparted into the cottage cheese. Okay. So we take that and we fold it in. Okay. I've drained as much liquid as possible out of this cottage cheese. This roasted corn is going to add a delicious, spicy crunch and chew to this salad. You can roast it up on your barbecue grill, or like I did, I used a cast iron grill pan. Okay, so the corn is mixed in. Real easy, real simple. Okay, now, the next thing we're going to add, some black beans. Mm -hmm. Black beans, very popular in New Mexico. Frijoles negros. Fold them in. Don't Mash mash them. them in. Okay. The next thing we want to add, some pinto beans. Another flavor of and New Mexico. Fold those in. Here we go. Mix this up and fold them in. Want a little oh, more yeah. crunch. Cucumber. One. Finely diced. Cucumber's Cucumber. gonna add some crunch. Some coolness and some crunch. We're just going to fold these textures in. Multiple layers of flavors in this salad. Add some purple onion. You could use regular white onion, brown onion, doesn't matter. Just get some onion in there and fold it in. Oh yeah. It's garlic. Now I'm adding six cloves of finely minced garlic. I usually like to add more. But I'm looking at about three pounds worth of food each pound is two servings, six servings, one clove of garlic per person. You could add eight cloves if you want. But believe me, in this recipe, it's not going to be overpowering. So six cloves, finely minced garlic goes in. Now, okay, another flavor we're going to add, scallions. Okay. Okay. Just another layer for a very, very cool salad. This okay. time I'm adding toasted pepitas, or pumpkin seeds. These were raw, okay? And I just put them in a pan and toasted them up. It's gonna add some crunch and some smokiness because of the roasting. And we're gonna fold those into the salad. This is gonna be a delicious, delicious salad. We're gonna add some chopped Hatch green chilies. These green chilies came in the can. They were already chopped. I just rinsed off all the excess juice and slime and stuff, and we're just going to add those hatch green chilies. 
You can get the hot kind or the mild kind. I'm using the mild kind because I don't feel like killing my guests. They can't eat food as hot as I eat. And everybody that knows me knows I love the heat, but I want to keep my friends alive. So I'm only using mild. One more thing. There. This is the zest of two limes and the juice of one lime. Okay? And that's going to get put in here for a little bit of tartness, a little bit of acid, okay? Just a little bit, okay? I'm going to fold that in, and that'll get dispersed. Oh, I can smell it right. already. One more ingredient, cilantro. Got to have cilantro, okay? And once again, we fold it in. Get some green in there. Look at that. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. The onion. All folded in. All right. Now, what you want to do here is you want to taste it. Hmm. This is the stage where you'll adjust your seasoning. I want a little more salt. I want a little more black pepper. And I think I want a little more of that freshly ground Wajio chili from this morning, okay? Like I said, I don't want to kill my friends, but I do want a little heat. All right. And they like a little heat, too. All right. All right. Everything's folded in. Here we go. There's our salad, okay? Everything is folded in, so... What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go roast up some chili peppers and then I'm going to stuff them in here. So hang on tight. Okay, while I'm roasting my chili peppers and I had a couple of spoonfuls of this salad, I decided to add just a little more cumin. Cumin really is the great flavor of the Southwest as far as I'm concerned. One tablespoon. And this is one of those grinders you find in the market. It's smoked herbs and spices. This one happens to be smoked paprika flakes, smoked garlic, smoked basil, and a little salt and pepper. Okay, If you don't have this kind of herb spice mixture, you can smoke it on your grill or you can order it online. But this adds a wonderful, wonderful smoky flavor and smoky flavors are one of the best flavors of southwestern cooking. Oh, this is just delicious. So I'm going to put this in. There we go. And I'm going to fold that cumin and these smoked herbs and spices. All right. While my peppers are roasting on the flame. Oh yeah. There we go. Just fold that in. Okay, done. That's all it takes. Now I'll give a little taste. Right on target. So I'm gonna finish roasting these peppers, and then I'm gonna stuff this in the peppers, and I'm gonna have my dinner. See you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so there you have it my southwestern inspired cottage cheese salad served up in toasted tortillas makes a nice cooling refreshing taco I also stuffed one pasilla chili okay and I also stuffed one Anaheim chili these can be eaten either hot or cold so there you have it my southwestern inspired cottage cheese salad make it your own mix it up mess around with it I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.